It's the time of year when we carve pumpkins, rake leaves, and most fun of all, we visit haunted houses. Well, this haunted house in Rochester, New York, is like no other house you've ever seen. Becky Gibney checks it out. Do you see a problem? No, nope. I don't see a problem. Most of the time, when I think of balloon characters, I think of clowns twisting rubber and air into dogs and cats. But these balloon artists gathered from the United States, Puerto Rico, Japan, Israel, and Slovenia are showing me a whole new side of balloons and art. Balloons are my art. Balloons, balloons are my paintbrushes. And, you know, balloons are just the medium that I've found most comfortable for me to create things. Making the haunted house was sort of something that developed over time. As I learned that you could do bigger and bigger things with balloons, my projects got large enough to start involving other people. I ordered 130,000 balloons for this. I'm expecting to use 100,000 balloons in the actual manner, and the remaining 30,000 will probably be used over the course of the, the days that we're open, refreshing things, rebuilding things. You're going to see a lot of things, everything ranging from the traditional monsters, werewolves, the Frankenstein-type creatures, and all of those things. This year also, to make things more interesting, we, uh, we've added some more mechanical movement. We have a scary go-round this year, um, so that actually we added some mechanical framework to be able to make a fully operational carousel or scarousel that will have animals going around in circles, moving up and down. And it's really hard to judge the time that it's going to take any, to make any particular piece. Doing this whole thing from the first balloon till the last is five days of building. So if this wasn't cool enough, Larry made this haunted house completely wheelchair accessible, and the money gained during this is going to two different charities. When you do a project of this magnitude that's fun, that's temporary, you know, you often want it to be there for a reason in every way the community is involved. So the proceeds from the event can go to charity. So we're working with two charities this year that are benefiting from this the uh, James P. Wilmot Cancer Center, as well as Teens Living with Cancer. Creative and charitable? Maybe it is possible to have your cake and get scared, too. For Assignment the World, I'm Becky Gibney.